all right guys byd here listen it's a real bad 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 summer i mean when i tell you the drought has destroyed my yard it has destroyed my yard let me show you real quick look at this right here guys it's dry as a just dry guys a lot of fungus still in the dollar spots over here it's it's horrendously bad look at this right here all right so we had tons of drought at the beginning of the season two months then we got six weeks of rain then we got going on three and a half weeks of drought temps way up in the 90s almost hitting 100 here in georgia all right i want to show you this too this is where my septic area is at some parts okay but most of it is bad guys right there and that's because the tank is shallow when we get a drought it cooks out all right i want to show you the back too lots of fungus lots of dry grass the good thing is it's not crunchy so that's that's a bonus but the tahoma 31 it took a hit still looked pretty decent being that we haven't had any rain all right let me show you this this is actually not a fungus this is heat stress lines when the sun was shining here it would beam down and toast that area right there toast that toast that guys and as the season went on the the reflection moved over and over and over but listen i got a fix for this it's called yard mastery stress blend 7020 right, guys this is the yard mastery stress blend seven percent nitrogen zero percent phosphorus 20 percent potash that number right there is really what's going to help bring the yard back to life plus we have the added benefit of bio if you don't know what bio night is it's almost kind of like milk organite it's a bio solid guys that's going to help feed the micros which is going to help the lawn get back to where it should be all right let me show you some things too real quick if you got these spreaders the scott spreader make sure you put yours on 5.25 earthway 14 um let's go 14 right here then they have the echo b rb60 they want you to put it on 5.5 all right guys if you stay to the end i'm gonna give you two bonus tips guys that's gonna make sure this stuff works like it's supposed to but with a drought being like that you need something to help the yard recover they got all kinds of fertilizers guys and a lot of them will work but i do like the stress blend going this late into the season now right now we mid september so that's technically that's the end the last month of summer we got a few days of summer for cool season lawns you could put this on now for warm season lawns you could put this on now it works on both but let me show you something on the bag that you need to know so i just want you to see this cool season lawns bluegrass fescue ryegrass warm season lawns bermuda saint augustine a lot of you saint augustine people will be asking me zoysia centipede works on centipede and but hey yeah i don't know anybody with that type of grass here in georgia but i'm pretty sure but look when you can apply it for the cool seasons it says summer and fall which is basically now right here spring summer and fall my favorite times is this right here now applying it in the fall right here guys it's going to help it recover it's going to get the roots stronger and it's going to help somewhat resist that coldness that's about to come if you don't know guys that potassium makes your grass hardy all right it's going to be like a little stiffer but it's going to stand up straight i'll put it to you like that but going into this late in the season most of you guys are either dormant because your grass is going dormant or you're summer dormant which means you've been toasted out so for those of you who stay in the great state of texas how about them cowboys until they play the falcons leave a For link those in the description guys make sure you click on that and get your bag asap before it sells out now before you start applying this i'm show you some things you need guys you're going to need some safety glasses some gloves a knife scissors that's to cut the bag open the yard mastery stress blend handheld spreader if you got tight places and you're going to need a big spreader for the big places also make sure you have a blower on on deck so you can blow all this stuff off of the concrete all right guys i'm gonna cut this open real quick and the reason i'm cutting it open because that's the only way you're gonna be able to get it on the yard but i want to show you how this formula looks versus some of the others right here you see that 
all kinds of fruity like colors in there a little looks like crystals just whatever they're making it with that's what it looks like right there guys let me give it the byd smell test real quick guys don't do this at home i'm taking a hit for you now it does have a little little pew smell to it but not like mill organite or something like that even though it has a taste of that in the bag now when it says bionite guys the whole bag is not bionite don't quote me on it but i want to say it's about 10 percent maybe three and a half four and a half pounds that's actually added to this bag i could be wrong but i think i'm correct all right guys one thing i do recommend is that you pour this in the harbor over concrete do not do this over grass because if the harper is left open that stuff will fall out and land in one spot which could potentially have a herbicide burn in that particular spot all right i'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here all right i'm gonna save some from a small spreader I'm gonna go ahead and add some to my small spreader. And I'm adding it to the small spreader, guys. That's gonna get my vanity strips in hard to reach areas. Right, when adding this to my vanity strips, I like to start out here and shoot it that way. I don't like to start over there and shoot it back this way because I'll put a lot in the streak. I'm still gonna blow it, but it just limits the amount that hits the streak. Check this out. Now, these right here, guys, <laughs> when you're using this handheld, there's no real so-called spreader setting for it. You just got to know your square footage. I'll talk about that in just a second. All right, and this one of the hard-to-reach areas. All right, guys, just so you know, even though you're applying this stress blend, it won't activate until you water it in guys you get you have to water it in even if you're on the lawn stress and drought all that stuff water it in fortunately i'm timing mine with rain i have rain coming um the next three days so i want to get it down but none of this stuff is going to work unless you water it in irrigation or rain so guys when you order this stress blend you can't buy this at the store. This is an online item only. It's made in the U.S. and it's made by Yard Mastery. They come in two sizes, 15,000 square feet and they have a 6,000 square feet. You have to know your square footage. I'll give you an example. 50 feet times 20 feet is 1,000 square feet. That means it's a 12 by 12 little block a thousand times in that area. If you're having issues still, go to Google Earth and you should be able to get your square footage using their app. All right, guys, bonus tip time here. The day before you put down this application, water your yard thoroughly. All right, you wanna make sure the soil is conducive to taking this product in. All right, the next thing you could do is make sure you put your insect control down. I prefer the granular because it'll last longer. All right, and the last couple of tips, guys, is this right here. If you don't know how to apply this right here using a spreader, click on that video, guys. Also, Hydratane will make a great complement to this product. And here's a playlist just in case you missed out.